Hello, uh, dear colleagues. Hello, um, everyone. I believe you can hear me. Uh, now I wanted to tell you about my presentation. What is the goal of this presentation? I would like to offer you two different approaches, how we in the Ministry of Welfare carry out our basic audits, uh, basic audits or policy audits. And here I would like to uh, point out that, uh, of course, we are uh, looking at the aspect of uh, benefits. Um, I want to uh, explain about the internal environment of the audit. Uh, we are the Ministry uh, of Welf uh, Welfare, and there are 12 uh, institutions that are uh, underneath us. Uh, uh, we have one uh, state capital company. Uh, because uh, the ministry is a shareholder in this um, institution and taking into account the competency, we also carry out several uh, social area uh, audits, um, meaning that uh, municipalities are also uh, uh, being audited by us because they uh, coordinate uh, many things, coordinate, for example, uh, children's protection issues, as well as provide several welfare services. Uh, we have delegate, uh, um, we have um, six delegated functions to NGOs. Every year we have about 40 uh, procurement, uh, social service agreements for um, different target groups. How, uh, and why uh, policy audit is different uh, because we have to evaluate full cycle of the policy based on uh, those three components that you can see uh, planning implementation and supervision and we have to look at them all together we cannot separate them and uh, audit uh, one uh, one stage or only <laughs> when doing that uh, we use vertical uh, method. Uh, ministry is uh, responsible for analyzing policy implementation as well as uh, supervision. In the uh, implementation uh, stage, we involve all the institutions that I've mentioned in my previous slide, all those many uh, institutions. Um, and uh, they are also involved into implementation of uh, supervision uh, functions. They are also audited units. Uh, during uh, implementation st um, stage of uh, any given policy, we are usually looking from the perspective of a client. Uh, we uh, are making random analysis of um, uh, target audience. Now, we are analyzing client cases, uh, individual cases. Mm, when doing that, those random um, analysis, we are usually uh, taking into account three uh, evaluation criteria, and those are whether the uh, client or in inhabitant of Latvia has received uh, social service or social uh, support in due time. Second, uh, whether this service uh, was sufficient. And third, whether this service was in good quality. Uh, we uh, go only when uh, looking from the perspective of a client, uh, only that in that way, we can understand and evaluate whether uh, the um, direction we are going is correct and whether this uh, policy mechanism will reach its goals. For your uh, attention, I would like to offer you a practical example. Um, uh, this is within the framework of um, internal audit. 
So this is the audit that we've uh, carried out recently uh, in the orphans court and uh, social services when evaluating their functions according to uh, the interests of our uh, management. Also, uh, after uh, um, looking through our system, we came up with three uh, overall goals. Whether with the existing resources we can ensure uh, functions prescribed by the legislation, uh, and uh, whether oh, mu uh, muni mun in municipalities and in those two structural units, uh, uh, services and obligations do not overlap and whether there is cooperation. And uh, the third one, whether this uh, supervision mechanism is efficient. Together, we came up with 17 uh, evaluation criteria. Uh, this uh, evaluation was carried out in 20 municipalities. Uh, we uh, wanted uh, to have small, medium, and big municipalities as well as state cities. Uh, we, we tried to cover all the territory of Latvia, namely all the uh, districts of Latvia. Mm. Uh, we had uh, 200 or looked through 214 cases. Those are 214 uh, cases when biological uh, parents are dis uh, deprived, deprived of um, the parents' rights, namely when their child is placed in the uh, orphanage, in the facility. And uh, where, how efficient is it has been. Uh, what um, gains and challenges have been there, you can see that um, benefits are more than the challenges, and the benefit is the following. We kind of stepped into the client's shoes, and uh, thus we could analyze the cause and consequence. Uh, we could analyze and come up with more precise suggestions uh, or, or audit suggestions. Best practice uh, using this um, approach when analyzing all those 214 cases. We cooperated with the respective municipalities. And um, uh, according to um, our questions or following our questions, municipalities themselves acknowledged uh, some shortcomings uh, in documentation or in uh, management or in uh, supervision, understanding this complex government governance model, um, also understanding what would be, um, what should be made better between orphans court uh, and uh, the social service in the municipality. Um, as we enclosed many municipalities, we made a register of best practices and we share the best practices with policy makers. So we could uh, uh, address um, be, uh, those municipalities uh, who were the best and they could share uh, during events their best practices. Um, um, at the same time, we uh, thanked um, all the municipalities for their cooperation and pointed out to the success stories. After analyzing this experience, we could uh, offer the Ministry of Welfare uh, with uh, three models, um, medium, short, and long-term perspective for future development of this type of uh, work. Also, we found out during um, uh, this uh, audit that we need to uh, give uh, more support to um, municipalities because some of them didn't know how to correctly calculate all the expenses. And we came up with model calculations uh, so uh, municipalities could uh, come up with better uh, figures and better calculations according to their structural units. The results were displayed not only to the ministry, but also to the respective committee uh, of um, our parliament, also uh, to the um, um, association of municipalities. We came up um, also with uh, suggestions to the orphans court 
uh, Courts Association, which is a good partner. Uh, we also uh, displayed those uh, results uh, in the inter uh, ministry uh, meeting uh, for us to be able to um, um, implement and uh, perform um, th this type of supervision on orphans' courts um, between ministries. Uh, so we are going outside of our ministry, thus uh, promoting or fostering further development of public administration. Uh, I would have to say that this was not a difficult audit because this approach uh, was uh, quite the same, but uh, this audit was carried out through COVID time and this was the first remote audit uh, and that was a challenge for uh, us, for the auditors. So we had to think over uh, about some methods. Also, have to change, had to change uh, thinking. Also, technical aspects impacted uh, our audit processes because we understood that uh, in uh, Latvia there is not uh, a unified Wi-Fi uh, connection, and we had to respect the situation that. Uh, in parallel to this um, audit, there was administrative territorial reform and municipality workers were under pressure at that time. And they had uh, lots of unknown values and we tried to understand the situation and um, 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 be very uh, loyal and um, uh, understanding towards them. Uh, this audit was uh, rather difficult emotionally. Uh, you probably noticed uh, when I presented uh, those 214 uh, cases, uh, the uh, topic, these are real children, and they, those are uh, very tragic stories about those children. I wanted to say thank you to uh, the ministry uh, to uh, undergo uh, offers supervision and all our team underwent this supervision, we could return back to our normal work. In the next slide, I wanted to demonstrate another approach. When we go outside of internal audit environment, uh, this is again into resource um, uh, audit uh, practical example, also a very recent one that we carried out together with Ministry of Interior. Uh, in order to uh, um, eliminate violence, or threat to violence, where we analyzed all the uh, processes from the moment uh, of uh, violence when state police uh, goes to um, a, a call and um, uh, a victim is being uh, found out, the procedural activities are carried out until the moment when uh, in the Ministry of Welfare, we uh, uh, provide uh, the victims uh, with uh, services uh, for uh, uh, for their recovery. And we analyzed whether those uh, services uh, achieve their results and whether uh, we could eliminate repeated violence. Uh, we elaborated 18 criterion uh, in 12, in 17 municipalities. Uh, we uh, again chose uh, uh, 68 cases uh, where there were minors um, as well as um, persons of age, as well as children, or uh, children who are very often involved in cases of violence, both directly as victims and indirectly as well. Uh, these uh, audits uh, require more time um, um, in um, planning. And this ministry who is uh, doing those types of audits should do the coordination. And we, the Ministry of Welfare, did the coordination work. Um, we didn't have any uh, cooperation agreement or any um, agreement um, signed. Uh, the Ministry of Welfare uh, approach 
the minister, the secretary of our state from the minister of Ministry of Interior, we, uh, in order to eliminate bureaucracy, we uh, agreed upon many things uh, orally. When we received uh, a letter of acceptance, then both structural units started planning for this audit. And it's important to point out the precondition. Now, one precondition in this audit environment, in both uh, or several environments, uh, depending on the amount of um, audit, there should be uh, audit subject clearly identified and audit areas clearly uh, identified. And I have to say that it was true here. And in due time, together with colleagues from the Ministry of Interior, we planned uh, the timeline uh, for this audit. Uh, we allocated resources. Oh, this. Um, audit was enclosed in the annual audit plan and when this term came closer uh, we met face to face we talked over all the cooperation aspects uh, in throughout all the stages in greater detail uh, we uh, talked over uh, communication channels exchange of information how we are going to communicate uh, this audit during this planning period, we came up with unified audit program where all the identified uh, risks were enclosed, strategy and methods uh, elaborated. And this plan um, actually was the main document in both ministries. Um, during um, implementation uh, period, uh, we exchanged information on risks, uh, after those checks, we exchanged um, main uh, conclusions and main risks uh, in order for our ministries um, to come up with uh, draft reports. But when uh, talking about the last stage uh, reporting, we came to a conclusion uh, that a detailed uh, audit report uh, will be received by uh, state secretaries but lay at a later stage but at uh, an earlier stage we presented to each other with main conclusions with main suggestions um, also measures how to implement and a timeline uh, about implementation of suggested uh, uh, issues what were the benefits and uh, what were the challenges uh, for this approach of audit. I have to say that um, this approach uh, has a bigger added value than the previous one, because we are looking at the problem at, from a wider angle. We have a complex uh, view on all the risks involved. We also uh, saw that both ministries uh, kind of uh, feel equally responsible uh, for everything already from uh, the stage of planning up to the plan of implementation. So you could not uh, play football, uh, kicking the ball uh, uh, from uh, one uh, side to another, uh, because uh, every um, uh, both ministries uh, saw their responsibilities. That was unique opportunity also to learn from each other and we kind of uh, created uh, one uh, ex extended or enlarged uh, pro uh, team, thus stepping out uh, of our comfort zone. Uh, we presented the results and findings also to municipalities, uh, pointing out to a specific social service. Also, we presented the outcome uh, to parliamentary committees. Uh, we uh, wanted to gather the point of view of the municipality police. Uh, we risked uh, we risk and approached uh, Riga municipality uh, police, and we uh, received um, a very good uh, and forthcoming re uh, reply. Oh, and we enclosed uh, their um, their 
their, their opinions in our report, thus showing a broader perspective of, on the, of the problem. The biggest challenge was um, that um, almost never uh, they would they would have the same priority. Uh, in our uh, case, a uh, bigger priority was to uh, was to the aspect of welfare. Although um, uh, uh, heads of structural unit of from our um, ministry uh, was very forthcoming and. Um, the risks that we uh, identified uh, was integrated with uh, another with other audits of the ministry. So this was uh, another added value that if you find something or identify a risk in one audit uh, and it's relevant to other audits of the same ministry, they are incorporated in the strategy already. Uh, so. Uh, also, another challenge, um, oh, the coordination was rather difficult, and uh, also we kind of um, didn't uh, didn't uh, didn't see um, uh, or didn't get to the time uh, time frame. That was all from my side.